All right, today we're going to be looking at interpreting remainders. The problems from this PowerPoint are going to be, they're coming from Study Zone. It's a good place to go to if you guys want to do some more practice. It's got some good things, other, even on other things than just um, remainders. So, first of all, you solve it, draw a picture, then tell where you're going to use the remainder. So, you could either add one to the quotient, use only the quotient, or use only the remainder. So those are the three different things that could happen with the remainder. Remember, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. Excellent. Okay, so first of all, let's just go through these. So it says a total of 58 awards will be given away to the soccer team. Each box holds eight awards. How many awards will be in the partially filled box? So you want to think about what is it asking. So remember, you should be your first check. Have our 58 awards. Each box, eight awards. I want to know in the partially filled box. So we take, we do 58 divided by 8, which is 7. 7 times 8 is 56. Subtract and you get 2 with a remainder of 2. So 8 whole groups, we can make 7 whole groups. So 2 is what's left over. So 2 would be the remainder, which would be in the partially filled box. All right, so on this one, you would just um, use the remainder. Let's look at this one. There are 62 students in the football league. How many teams of six can they make? So we want to know how many groups of six. So we do 62 divided by six. So six will go into six one time. Six times one is six. Subtract, get zero, bring down the two. And six cannot go into two, so it goes in there zero times, which leaves you a remainder of two. But the question on this one wants to know, well, how many group teams of six can be made? So I go through and you figure out how many groups of six. So there would be 10 teams of six with two players left over. So on this one, the teams, which your quotient, is your answer to the problem. We ignore the leftover. If 13 parents want to go on a field trip and each car holds six people, how many cars will they need? So remember, we've got 13 parents on the field trip. Each car, six people. So how many cars? So remember, everyone wants to go. So again, you divide. you got 13 divided by six. So six can go into 13 two times. That means I can get six groups, I'm sorry, two groups of six out of 13 with a remainder of one. But remember, everyone wanted to go on that trip. So I've got two full cars with one left over. So that one left over means I need to add one more to my quotient because Everyone gets to go. This guy over here still wants to go. We can't leave him at home just because there's not enough cars. So we would end up needing three cars for everyone to go. So baseball coach has 98 baseballs to share equally among eight players. How many baseballs will be left? So remember, he's sharing equally so no one can have any more. So we're looking at equal groups. So 98 divided by 8. So 8 can go into 9 one time. Put your 1 on top. Bring down 8, and not 8 times 1 is 8, subtract and I get 1, bring down the 8. So then 8 can go into 18, 2 times, which is 16, subtract and you get a remainder of 2. How many baseballs left? So on this one, your remainder is your answer. Mr. Foster makes 26 cupcakes. Each cupcake tray holds 4 cupcakes. How many cupcakes will be in his partially filled tray? So again, divide it out. 4 can go into 26 six times, so 4 times 6 is 24, the remainder of 2. How many in the partially filled tray? So again, the answer is what is left in the partially filled. That's what they want. So your answer is your remainder on this one as well. Miss Campbell has 52 seeds to plant in her garden. She wants to plant the seeds in, five row, in rows of 5. How many rows will she make? Okay, you guys go ahead and solve this one. Make sure you bring this one in. Salt worked out tomorrow, and make sure you remember you answer the questions. Don't just do the division problem. Be sure you answer what, how many rows she will, will she make. All right, solve this one too, and make sure you bring it in tomorrow. So there are 47 books in the box. Miss Smith wants to put the books in baskets. Seven books will fit in each basket. How many full baskets will Miss Smith have? All right, remember to work it out, bring it in. I want to make sure you have the work to show. So this would be problem number two. 
Number three, there are 76 people seated at tables. Each table holds 10 people. How many full tables are there? Okay, so be sure to bring in those three problems with the work tomorrow. Okay, we'll do some more practice on this tomorrow.